The damage done as a result of this year's presidential election will likely be with us long after President Trump leaves office, but that damage was made possible in the first place in part by the disenfranchisement of many American voters. Here are five alarming things about voter suppression. Number one, it's legal. The Republican Party has been supporting bills designed to suppress voter turnout in state legislatures for years. Voter ID laws, cutting back on the number of polling places, shortening or eliminating early voting, making it more difficult for people to register to vote. In 2013, they received some help from the United States Supreme Court, which eliminated the pre-clearance requirement from the Voting Rights Act, a ruling which then enabled jurisdictions with established histories of racist voter discrimination to enact policies that never would have been allowed prior to that. Voter suppression is not only legal, it's Republican Party policy. And there's no mystery as to why. Number two, it benefits right-wing candidates. The Republican Party has known for some time now that it faces a fairly daunting long-term demographics problem. The party's most reliable voting bloc consists of older white voters, but as time goes on, the voting bloc controlled by those voters continues to shrink as a percentage of the electorate, while the portion of the electorate that consists of younger voters and people of color who tend to vote more for Democratic candidates continues to grow. One of the most effective electoral strategies of the Republican Party is to try and suppress voter turnout among young voters and people of color. When voter turnout is high in elections, progressive candidates historically do fairly well. When voter turnout is low, conservative candidates benefit. Number three, it's targeted at people of color. A moment ago I said that the Republican Party is interested in discouraging young people and people of color from voting, but please make no mistake about which of those two groups is the primary target of voter suppression policies. The pre-clearance clause of the Voting Rights Act was designed to prevent racist voting laws from being enacted. Voter suppression laws like those requiring people to show an ID before they can vote disproportionately affect African American and Latinx voters. The Republican Party will occasionally pay lip service to its desire to reach out to people of color, but its priorities are clear. And it's not seriously interested in welcoming people of color into its party. It's interested in thwarting their participation in our democracy by enacting the kind of racist voting laws that the Voting Rights Act was designed to prevent 50 years ago. Number four, it's largely ignored. Voter suppression is a real thing that threatens the ability of millions of Americans to exercise one of their most basic civil rights. Voter fraud, on the other hand, is an imaginary problem invented by Republicans to vilify Democrats and delegitimize elections that they lose. Guess which of those two gets more attention? Despite the fact that it has the potential to actually affect the outcomes of elections, voter suppression rarely attracts serious mainstream attention. But then again, as I said a little bit earlier, this is a problem that primarily affects blacks and Latinx and voters who live in poverty, and we never give a shit about those groups any other time, so... There is this one other thing about voter suppression I want to mention, though. Number five, it may have helped to elect Donald Trump. Fourteen states enacted voter suppression laws between the last election and this one. Many of those are states that would have voted for a Republican presidential candidate anyway, but five of them were battleground states this year. Arizona, New Hampshire, Ohio, Virginia, and Wisconsin. Hillary Clinton won two of those, New Hampshire and Virginia. Donald Trump won the other three, and their combined 39 electoral votes, without which he would not have won the election. Wisconsin, in particular, was decided by less than 30,000 votes. It may be that Donald Trump owes his election, at least in part, to the willful disenfranchisement of American voters. Something tells me that wouldn't bother him, but it bothers the hell out of me. The hardest part is picking only five. Catch you next time. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.